Hi, I'm John Ensi, and this is a Logic Pro tutorial. I'll be showing you how to make a mapped instrument and how to change the names of the MIDI notes so you can customize it. I didn't see a really good uh, tutorial made about this already, and it took me a really long time to figure this out, so I wanted to share this. I'm gonna make a software instrument and anytime I make a software instrument, I just make a empty channel strip and change its icon. You don't have to do this, but I like to change the instrument to the icon. Press X and that'll bring up the mixer. Right click and then I like to give a color, and right here on input, we're gonna add contact five, and we're gonna make sure that it says multi-output 16 stereo. That's what we want. So once that loads up, the first thing you're gonna wanna do before you even drag or load up an instrument is if you've never done this before, um, make a new output, and you want 16 inputs. Make sure that this stays on two for stereo. And then you want the first one here selected. Reassign output ascending, you know, and then delete them, yes, and might as well make it your default. So that anytime you load up contact five, it should look like this. Now, from here, I like to name these before I load in the, um, the, the kit. Otherwise, you'll have to load it twice. So I'll just do that really quickly. OK, now that we have everything labeled, we can go ahead and add our kit. Also, if you've never done this before, you may have to assign these individually to the correct place they need to go. And you'll have to do that for each instrument. Make sure that these are all routed correctly. And if you'd like to change some of these shells. You can do that. Okay, then come down here to the plus sign and you have this, make sure you have the same number and we're gonna name those exactly the same. All right, now that we have everything labeled, shift, click, so you select all tracks, and I like to turn them all down a little bit just so I have some headroom. And then while I'm here, change their output to bus one, so I have myself a drum bus. And I'll change the color of that as well. Now, the next important thing you need to do is go to the environment window, which is accessed by pressing Command-0. And from here, we click this new mapped instrument, and that'll make a new instrument pop down here. So I'm gonna click out of that. If you want it back, you can just double click there. But this is the instrument we created here, this mapped instrument. We can drag it around and change its name right here. This is the drummer. So I like to change it to whatever the drummer's name is. 
and I like to change the icon again. And before we leave here, we have to plug it in. So this is a cable. If you grab the the instrument, um, the mapped instrument here, there's a little arrow, and then a cable is drawn. You want to put that to whatever your contact instrument is on. So this is the kick sum channel. And I don't know why it asks you to remove. Just say don't remove. And there you go. Last thing you do before you close this window, you're gonna want to drag and drop your drummer. And yeah, create new track for environment object. And this is actually the track where you want to write your MIDI on. All right, so before I do that though, of course, like everything else, I like to change my color. There we go, we got the drummer. And now we got some MIDI region. I just used a pencil tool for that. And if we click in, double click on the, the MIDI region, we get the MIDI notes. Now here's where you can't change these names. unless you do it from the environment. So let's go back. First, I'm gonna open up contact again because we're gonna need this. Because in settings, we're gonna wanna change the maps. All right, so we're gonna go to settings, mappings, and I'm just gonna import this one I've already made. You can copy it if you'd like. Basically, it just puts all the notes at the very bottom of the MIDI scale. But just be aware of that. So now we have this. I'm just going to put this to the side for a sec. And press Command-0 to bring up the environment. Double-click our drummer. And here's what we're going to want to do. Make this big and go all the way to the top. Click the top key here and just drag and drop to the bottom, and then up here, initialize names as notes. That'll just get rid of those um, preset ones from Logic. Then sc scroll down all the way to the very bottom where we have C2. And this is where your customization really comes into play. Uh, I work back and forth with my drummer, and I like to kind of think of things left to right, top to bottom. But when you're labeling things, it's kind of easier to start from the bottom and go up. So just be aware when you get to the crashes, I like left to be first on the top of the list. Okay, so now that you have all of these named, we can go ahead and close out of this. And double click on our MIDI, scroll all the way down, and here we have our notes. Something really cool I wanna show also is if you put some MIDI on each note, and then mute them, you can put this into zoom or focus mode or whatever and just see the MIDI for your notes. Or if you press Command-4, it'll bring up the piano roll and you can do the same thing from in here. Zoom in a little bit more and then start programming your beat. best beat right here, guys. Yep, you know it. Copy and paste. 
So there we go, we got a beat. We got some MIDI in here. So yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and um, maybe I'll make a part two on how you can map several different instruments using the same mapped instrument that we made here. Cool. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.